Hello beautiful people. Welcome to another video with your girl Siobhan. Thank you for joining me for another cleaning and decorating video. This space, this entryway hallway, foyer, whatever you want to call it, is getting an epic transformation. Okay, epic. I'm so excited to share it with you. Definitely tell you where I got everything from. And also, it really wasn't that expensive at all. So I'm just super excited to share it with you guys. I love everything about it and I hope you do as well. I'm going to take you along with me and we're going to have us a good time cleaning and decorating this space. If you're a lifetime loyal, welcome back. I love y'all so much. I love y'all to the moon and back. And if you are new to the channel, I hope you will subscribe, become a part of the family and get this content, this motivation, cleaning, decorating, lifestyle, family, everything, all of it. Become a part of the family. So let's hop right into the video. So as you can see, the hallway was a disaster. It's a disaster. <laughs> so I have a lot of boxes for sponsored content that will be coming to you very soon. And it just became a little catch all whenever I would also, I should say, whenever I got boxes from Amazon because I ordered Amazon stuff for Chris's room and the twins room and I was just piling the stuff up. Yes, just piling it up. So the hallway became too much. It was just way too much. I had to get it together. It was driving me crazy. And that way it would allow me to, you know, decorate and get some of the decor that I had out of the way and just get another part of the house together. That's my goal. Just a little bit at a time. But it was definitely time to get the entryway together. So I purchased this um, buffet from it was like a red, white and blue store. I bought it for five dollars a couple years ago and it was in its natural state and I painted it white at first and then I ended up painting it black with the top white and now I'm going to paint it again. I was going to get rid of this and purchase a new um, some type of new decor to go in the entryway but I actually love it. It's very nice. It's so well made. There's nothing wrong with it at all whatsoever. It serves its purpose. It works perfectly fine and again it was only $5. So whenever you're painting a piece of solid wood furniture, I definitely want to tell you, you should sand it. You should also prime it. But since I've done this piece before, I've painted it before several times, I didn't need to do that. And actually I was painting it another black. I actually got this paint from Home Depot. It is a bare product. It has paint and primer in it. And the color of the paint is limousine leather. To me, it had like a blue undertone to it when it was wet, but it dried pretty well and it's black. I like the color, it looks so, so nice. Um, but again, it's called limousine leather. So again, definitely sand, definitely prime, but I didn't need to do that because the space was already, well, the piece was already done before. So now I'm just covering it again with like another coat of paint.
I did one coat of paint on the entire piece and on top where the white is on the top part, I did two coats on there. I let the first coat of paint dry completely for 24 hours. And then once that was dry, I painted the top of the buffet and I let that dry for a full 24 hours as well. So this took a couple days to get done, but I wanted to make sure that everything was really nice and dry before I put anything on the piece. I was trying my best. So definitely you don't normally have to wait that long for a piece of furniture to dry. Definitely check out the paint. Um, different paints have different dry times and so forth, but definitely read the directions and check that out. Like I said, I had already painted this before, so I didn't have to put that much effort and stuff into it. And I just wanted to let it dry for a complete 24 hours. And I actually painted this um, after work. So painted it, let it dry, you know, and then came home and did another coat and so forth. Break up, leave this cause you don't need to be ashamed Everyone's got their hearts broken sometime Let's go out and lose our minds, forget all about him You, you
I did like the white on the piece at one point in time, but painting it all black just, I don't know, to me it took it up a notch. I feel like it's just so sleek and so modern and it's just beautiful. I absolutely love the piece so, so much. It made me fall in love with it all over again. <laughs> it really did. But also the gold, like putting things on top of it, it just pops a little bit more. But tell me down in the comments below if you liked the white on top or if you like it all black. I love it all black. I do. But I'm just interested in what you have to say, what your, what your thoughts are. the door and I do want to replace the screen door out there as well. I don't like this film so I actually got something else to go on it for now. First first I'm going to clean the window. So I got this Gila Window Film Application Solution, okay, and I also purchased this. This is a glass decorative window film, glass decorative window film that I'm going to measure and cut to put up. It looks like blinds. I'm just not sure because of what I want to do because this is a wood door, so to put something besides curtains or something like that, if I wanted to do blinds or something, it would be custom. And I did talk to Lowe's and Home Depot and so I did talk to Lowe's and Home Depot. And yeah, I'm just not sure yet what I wanna do. Yeah. 
but you ran to the west side And though much was stolen, much still abides And I know you don't wanna burn bridges But as time moves on, you slipping away Slipping away from me But did the ocean people so here's what we're working with so as you can see the door is a little beat up over there but we have the floors everything I gotta get this clean this up out here yeah 
So I'm gonna get this together really quickly. And the door is a little beat up, like I said. I wanna replace it, but again, it is a solid wood door. I can just do some touch-ups and stuff down here, up here. I could make it work, we'll see. Or I could have like a true carpenter come and see what they can do. That is not gonna be in today's project though. I'm not doing anything with the door in today's project, but I do want to do something with it. <laughs> Just not at the moment. So I wonder where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from Now I am going to sweep and mop the floor. I need to clean that what is that hexagon window? Not I forget the the term of the window. <laughs> But I need to clean that as well. And I told you guys in a previous video that I am, well, I reached out to a company who stated that they can paint the entryway hallway for me. So I'm debating if I want to get the walls smoothed out because you can't tell. I don't know if you can tell right now, but they do have a lot of texture. So the entire hallway is textured walls. So I was debating if I wanted to get them smoothed out and then painted. I'm not sure. I don't mind the texture. I just feel like it dates the the hallway. It dates it a little bit to me. Also, I was going to have the gentleman that um, installed my living room and dining room lights come in and install a new light fixture for the entryway. But this week has been super, super busy. Cadence and Kensley both got sick. London got sick. Um, Cadence and London were throwing up multiple times. It was just a lot. And then I took Ayana and two of her friends up to... Cheney University. We left Friday. We came back Saturday and that is about a five hour drive for us. So it was just a lot going on this week. So I couldn't kind of fit him into the schedule to come and get it done. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to wait. I already have the light fixture. It's not a big deal. I'll probably have him do it either, either this week or next week. Um, but that was part of my plan. And then this piece of artwork that I have here that I'm getting ready to put up I believe that I purchased that from Ross, if I'm not mistaken. It's in one of the hauls that I had a while back. I can't, I think Ross, I'm not sure, but I'm not sure. It's either Ross or Home Goods. I can't remember, but this piece of artwork is super, super pretty. It's just, I don't know. I love the gold, the silver and like the white. And I don't know. I, I think it looks really nice in that space since that window is right above it. Let me know your comments down below.
So now I'm getting ready to mop. I'm using my O Cedar mop. It's the newest bucket. Uh, the bucket, I don't know. I'm not a true fan of it, but it did serve its purpose because I wanted to give the floors a really deep clean. So I did use the Murphy's oil soap and a little bit of that pink, um, not pink, the uh, purple cleaner. I totally forget the name of it at the moment, but it smelled so good. Like the room, <laughs> the hallway and everything, everything smells so good. Plus I cleaned the wood, I cleaned the doors, I cleaned the baseboard. I did have to clean up this hallway. You know, once you start just putting stuff in places, it just becomes a little bit overwhelming. So I mopped the entire floor and then I'm going to sweep and mop the hallway as well. I did move the cat litter box into the basement, um, but then I had to keep my basement door open all the time for them to go back and forth, which I didn't like. <laughs> So I moved it back upstairs. I think it's perfectly fine. You can still walk through the hallway, get to, you know, everything you need to do, get to where you want to go. So I just moved the litter box back upstairs and I think it's just a better fit for now. Come on, let your clothes drop down to the floor I wanna see you moving slowly to the music We'll be dimming the lights, then lock the door I know it sounds crazy, but hey, we're gonna do it Come on, yeah Send a little DM, uh -huh. trying to make some plans Trying, Come baby, on, baby later in the PM Hope that you will understand I think that if you get to know I'm way more than nice. I wanna hold you, let me feel you till the morning light. I'm more than just a I purchased these two runners from Walmart, no, I was about to say Walmart, from Amazon, and they actually sent me the, an incorrect runner, basically. So I was supposed to have like a, you'll see this black doormat that I have in front of the front door that I'm just going to continue to use. But this rug right here, this runner is the exact same one as the one upstairs in the hallway, the hallway upstairs. So I just wanted them to, to tie in to coincide. So when you look downstairs, you see the same thing. And when you walk upstairs, it kind of is cohesive. And then I got a similar one. You can see that rug was not it. I got a similar one, but they sent me the wrong rug. So I'm going to send that back. Get it by now Tell me what you learned in grade school Give it to me like you want it Did you forget that golden rule? Why is our love it one-sided? It should really be give and take Fill you up and leave me empty Baby, was that my mistake? Covering these feelings Going through changes Sweet it and delete it Knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just sweet it and delete it Before we cross the line And we reach a point we can't rewind Try to talk about it Our history says we'll just argue And I know 
you're gonna act a fool And then no one could tell the difference Between me and you, babe, watching from a distance Hide in these feelings Going through changes Mad, but now it's at my own expense So I'm a child Tweet it and delete it Knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just tweet it and delete it Before we cross the line And we reach a point we can't rewind Maybe I need some space Need somewhere, somewhere else to go To release, to relax To let my emotions flow So now it is time to decorate. Even though I'm not done cleaning, it's still time to decorate this space. <laughs> I was getting a little excited. I was ready to decorate. That's always my most favorite thing to do. So I bought this jar from Home Goods. I believe it was $16 or $17. I bought these little sprigs or I don't know what they're called, tree stems, whatever. <laughs> I got those from Ross for $8. And I've had that lamp for, I think maybe two years. I got, there was two in a pack. So one is in the entryway, one is in my dining room, if you're wondering. So the majority of, no, all of the stuff that is being placed on this um, buffet, I actually did a haul on it. It's like maybe two, two videos back. But I picked up these boxes from at the at home store. I believe one was $20, $19.99. The other one was $24.99, if I'm not mistaken. And I love the gold. I, I just love the detail and also the texture that they bring in. I will give you a close up of them um, when I show you the final reveal. I'll give you a close up of them. These gold links I got from Ross, I believe. No, I got those from Home Goods, I believe, for like $6. And then I got these candlesticks from Ross. And yeah, like the majority of the stuff that I picked up came from Ross or Home Goods or Marshalls, something like that. But I really like the way everything turned out. It is just so, it's so nice. I don't, I, I just love it. I love, love, love it. So I was going, I might order another coffee table book. I picked up this one from Home Goods for $22 and I might pick up another one, but if I don't, I still love the look of the space. Now, I wasn't sure if I was going to use the big plant right here, the big, big tree plant and the stand downstairs in the entryway or upstairs in the hallway. I tried it in two different places here in the hallway and I didn't really like it. So I definitely think I'm going to use it upstairs in the hallway in the landing upstairs. I like the way I think I will like it much better up there because we have the green like sprigs down here. So it brings in that greenery. And I think that this plant was just a little too much. I didn't want it blocking the steps. When people came down, they would hit it as they come down the steps. And then I didn't like it over there in that corner. So like I said, I moved it upstairs. It's going upstairs. And I think I'm gonna like it much better.
make you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are So of course I had to clean the steps off. You couldn't do the entire entryway without getting those steps together. And I do plan on getting the steps. I want like the kick plate. So you see where your foot, I'm trying to explain this the best way I can. So I want the kick plate to be white and then the top of the steps to be a dark, dark stained brown, I think. Whatever it is, it's gonna match the floor. So whatever, how, whatever I pick for the floors, cause I eventually wanna get those done. The top of the steps is going to have that as well, but I do want the kick plate to be white so that it'll pop. And then I'm thinking about having the entryway be a light, light gray, and then all the brown, all the wood will be painted white, basically, so that everything will pop. That's my, my thought process. I'm going to probably draw it out and sketch it out, make sure that I totally like it before we go that route but anyway so I vacuumed the steps and then I dusted them with a rag with um yeah I just dusted them with a rag and some spray and then I'm going to go back and just vacuum up any leftover um hair or fur or anything like that also I did take some Lysol wipes and wiped off the handrail just to get that nice and clean as well. I know, you know, sometimes we forget things like that, but the light switches, the handrail, even the lamp switches, things that we touch a lot that we don't think about, we just randomly do. I like to take a Lysol wipe and go towards, you know, go over them to keep everything nice and clean and sanitary. So I purchased five frames. They're 16 by 20. They were $12.99, I believe, from Ikea. And I do plan on getting us family photos. And they're going to go in this entryway hallway. As I was hanging them, they're actually about 62 or 63 inches off the ground. And then in between each picture is 17 inches. So that's how I did it. Um, but I'm thinking about adding some more frames to the to the entryway. I'm not sure. Uh, five spanned across the wall looks really, really nice. I like it as it is, but I know that I can be a little extra, so I may do a little bit more or bring in something decorative to put in there as well. But anyway, <laughs> I definitely wanna put up some family photos and I think it's gonna look so nice. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do color or black and white yet. From the first time I saw ya You were not like the others A cool kind of melody You rattled my cage without warning Kept it up right till the morning A new kind of ecstasy You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah Like someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah. Down till we take flight It's how you make me feel Yeah, yeah Let's call in sick and be lazy I'm all for doing what's crazy Cause you make it real, yeah You found a different side of me The one I'd like 
to be a different side of me, yeah, yeah. You'll find a different side of me, like someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah, yeah. Peeled away, got me moving through time and space. Your magic can be erased, can't be erased. You'll find a different side of me, the one I like to be. A different side of me, yeah, yeah. You'll find a different side of me, like someone pretty need. A different side of me, yeah, yeah. Now let's look at the before one more time before we look at the final reveal. <laughs> Woo, child, this space was a mess. It was a complete disaster mess. Don't judge me, I had a little bat at the front door. <laughs> The kids just forgot to take it upstairs. But anyway, there's the old light fixture. Again, that will be changed. All the boxes have been moved to their respective places. And yeah, I'm going to get this space nice and clean. I can't tell what's wrong or right. Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to be. So beautiful people, here is the final reveal. I absolutely love it. I do. I love the black and the gold. I love the little pops of like there's white in the picture. There's white with the candlesticks or the, um, the candles. And I don't know. I just I love everything about this entryway. I love it. It's so beautiful. It's so me. The space is so me. Now I would feel so comfortable allowing people to come into my front door. I know that it is clean. I know that everything is in its right place and it's just beautiful. And I did not spend a lot of money. I did not. I think the wall art on the wall was maybe $30. We have the picture, the boxes, the link, the candlesticks, like the gold, um, black and gold star, the vase. It just looks so, so nice. And then you're going to see the pictures on the wall sorry about that you're going to see the pictures on the wall eventually those will have family photos in there and I can't wait to share that with you but yeah the steps everything is clean dust free and it looks very very nice the hallway is clean it's no clutter in there anymore and I'm just very pleased with how everything turned out definitely leave me a comment down below let me know if I should add anything to this picture wall and tell me how you like the entryway, the foyer area. And thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all so, so much. I love y'all to the moon and back. And I'm just so appreciative and thankful for you all. Oh, another thing. The reason why I didn't get a full like five by eight under the hutch, the buffet, is a, a vent for heating and cooling. So I didn't want to cover that up. But again, thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. Mwah! Searching for my home